Hello everyone, it is Tuesday today, which means it's time for another video. And let's start this video with a question. What does the Mafia and Soup have in common? So what does the Mafia and Soup have in common? Well folks, let me tell you a story. Imagine it is 1931. The Great Depression has just started and the prohibition is still going on strong. Unemployment rates are high and the Mafia controls everything. Basically, it's one big mess. But the Mafia had gained somewhat of a bad name. And what does the Mafia do if they get a bad name? They do some charity. Some goodwill stuff that will make the people like them. And this was the case in Chicago in 1931. The Mafia there had gained a bad name and it needed to be cleaned a bit. So what did they do? Well, they opened one of the very first soup kitchens in America. A place where the unemployed could get some free coffee, soup and donuts. And the man who made this all possible? It is no other than the Mafia boss we all know, Al Capone himself. A Chicago newspaper called the Chicago Tribune even headlined in December 120,000 meals are served by Capone Free Soup Kitchen. Three times a day, a large group of unemployed men would go in, toasting his health. They even told the newspaper that Al Capone was doing more for the poor than the entire US government. And that is what we are going to build in this Christmas special. A replica of the soup kitchen. Because one of the things that happens during Christmas is that people start helping each other. And one way to help the unfortunate during Christmas is by giving them a free Christmas meal. And with that all out of the way, let's start building. I'm placing two railings so that I can move one in front and one behind the window. I'm still missing one corner of the roof, so I will move the filler boards away for now, so that I can place it without losing the boards. Under the just placed floor, I will place a large column for support. In the picture we can see a white surface with on it a printed text, probably a banner. But since we don't have that, we will have to improvise. So I will place a couple of white barn walls instead. On top of the white walls I will place a couple of windows that come with the Woody's Wasteland mod. Now that we know the total height of the wall, we can place the other walls on the side in the back of the building. With all the stone walls in place, we can start on the roof.
time to place the text. For this I will use neon letters that have the same color as in the picture. To light up these neon letters, we of course have to connect this building to the city power grid. We can still see through the roofs, so I will place another layer of shack roofs to cover it up. I also wanted to build a little suspicious looking shack on the side of the building because we are still talking about the mafia here. So I will build a shack that is connected to the soup kitchen. Time to place some doors. Inside the soup kitchen, I will place a large counter where the people can get their free meal. I will place a employees only sign above the doorway to the side building, because the mafia doesn't want anyone to snoop around in there. Time to place some decorations. First I'll place a Christmas tree for the holiday spirit and a coffee machine. Besides the coffee machine, I will also place some other things on the counter, such as a coffee can on a heating plate, coffee cups, big pans for the soup, bowls and spoons. Time to add some lights. It still seems a bit too accessible, so I will add some more doorways so that people can't go behind the counter. Time to decorate the side building. I figured this could be the kitchen where they make the soup. So I will place a fridge as well as some stoves.
And since this kinda is a back room of sorts and we are dealing with the Mafia, we need to build something shady. I figured this would be a good spot for either some gambling or counting extortion money. So first, I will place a table and some chairs. On top of the table, I will place a lot of money. And when I think of a back room, I always see this table in the dark with this single light bulb above it. So let's build that too. The shack doesn't look shady enough yet, so I will place some wire fences to close it off more. And as a final detail, I will place some posters on the wall and a outside light. And there we have it, El Capone Soup Kitchen. I think the story behind it is awesome and I hope you did enjoy it too. If you did, then leave a like, subscribe for more realistic settlement building and click the bell so you won't miss out on anything. And of course, I wish you a happy holiday. My name is Tuesday and I will see you next time.